This my bread, this my bread, this my bread. One coronavirus victim has been found in, in Tonga. My mom has just sent me $600, God bless her soul, to stock up on some flour, sugar, yeast, oil, and other perishable items that can be saved and stored for the situation that might arise of not having any boats traveling to this island and therefore people relying on their garden and stuff and I know that we're not going to be okay because we have baby pigs and not much vegetables in our garden so we need to really start preparing you never know what's going to happen with this government I always expect the worst better to be prepared better to be smart to protect our little family do God please help us thank you for everything you do please save us from the corruption in this world and the coronavirus if it is real whatever people think we have to be smart we have to be careful amen Meanwhile, my mom is also putting a drum together for me in Australia. God, mom, you are amazing. So she sent me this video of her packing the drum to lift my spirit. And it certainly has. Look at all these goodies. The Kimmy's milks. The Frankfurt's. The hams. Yep, the hams. And this there is all the tin tomatoes and mushrooms and tuners and what is it else. Good morning. I woke up, my heart racing, I feel like, yeah, I feel like my dolls are helicopter grasp my body, because I can't even move without feeling weak. Anyway, so I made myself a coffee, and I put some coconut cream in there, shit, and damn, it's good! Have you ever tried coconut cream in coffee? Glazed donuts and coffee with coconut cream. Oh my god, it's the best. More, more. Good morning world! I've got makeup on today. Oh, I feel so gross! <laughs> yeah, but I'm all dressed up in case it's the end of the world. And oh my gosh, everyone is panic buying. We're trying our hardest to find what we need, like bags of flour, and we have none. <laughs> yes, I will. I had to buy you a little six to seven dollars. I'm sure Grandma doesn't mind. <laughs> everyone is panic buying. Okay, so we just finished panic buying. <sighs> I'm still panicking, I can't breathe. Luckily, there were still a few things available, but the shops were literally packed and the Chinese people had like the biggest smiles on their faces like they were just selling out that shit right there. What do you mean $100 for a bag of flour? I bet you are fucking capitalizing on the world crisis. Anyway, let me show you guys what $600 looks like. Oil, five liters. Onions, five kilos. Four packets of crackers, one net of garlic, I have three bags of rice, I have four two kilo bags of flour, I have three butters, um, I have some canned tuna and tin fish, I think I have four tin fish. These spaghettis are four dollars each in Australia, sixty-five cents, man. Ugh, I bought ten of those. I think ten. I have hot dogs, so I can still make my markets when I need money. So lots of little hot dogs. They're only three dollars each, so it's doable. One kilo of milk powder is twenty-one dollars. Fucking ridiculous. But we're gonna need to have coffees. I bought yeast, two bags of flour, two big bags of flour, and two things of yeast, one big bag of sugar, one box of chicken. I bought some washing powder, 
a new bowl for 350 and a bag of nappies. So, you know, it seems like to me that it's just not that much for six hundred dollars. You know, Tonga's prices are fucked up. But I'm so grateful to have these things. And thank you, Mom. Okay, I guess the asshole somewhat redeemed himself. Look at this cheese. Look at this curly parsley. Carrots, tomatoes, a little shallot onions which I'm gonna grow. Food. Banana. Capsicums, lots of capsicums. I'm gonna freeze them. I'm also making pizza right now. But lettuce and other chilies to grow. Bondi. Oh, what's that? Fish. Yum. And you know that this is the look um prawn prawn sea. So. Mm. Pizzas, anyone? Pizza, pizza. Pizzas look so nice. Pizzas look so good. Just extracting the seeds. I've got some potatoes to grow. These beautiful onions to plant. I'm going to keep these in the freezer so I can use it for cooking and these seeds I'm going to grow. These are my favourite chilies. They are like hot capsicums but the flavour is beautiful. I love it. I bought the last kilo of potatoes in there. So I've got some of them sprouting. I'm going to plant those and cook the rest because it's just Ooh, going to waste under the ground anyway. I have onions. My beautiful net of garlic just cost $6. And this is the most delicious cucumber I've ever had. It is cucumber. so firm and it's not watery. So I'm going to extract the seeds and grow some. Hopefully it grows now. I don't know where they get this stuff from. From Long Island and porting everywhere. Beautiful little shells. My parsley in this one. My lovely capsicums and chilies to be seeded. And lovely butter. So what are you inventing more when you're there? Stuff. Oh, that's cute. What is that? A little nerd pack. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open it? Give us a tour of your invention, son. <laughs> Put it on the glue station. Wow. <laughs> so cool. So you've got flowers on the side in case you're stuck and it needs some. I've got my um nice box in here. Yep. Yeah. Put the one from grandma? Yeah. Take stuff from marking stuff, pencil and ruler. So cute, that's it. Very nice. Now we just have to